In this video, I'm taking you with me on an epic adventure. We are playing a sold out stadium show in Vienna. It looks like around 45,000 people are coming to this event. And the best thing about all this, it's for a good cause. All acts are playing for free and the revenue goes directly to these organizations that help those affected by the current situation in Ukraine. But before we take on this big challenge, we have to make sure that we don't mess this up. So we actually rented a venue in the city for today to go through the equipment setup for the show and to actually play the songs a couple of times. All right, it's 7 p.m. and we're about to start. When we rehearse for events like this one, we want to make absolutely sure to create an environment that is as close to the real situation as possible, because this time we're facing five big challenges we won't have a sound check at this very important show. That means we go out on stage to play a sold out stadium, it's going to be live on TV and until the first note we have no idea how it will actually sound and feel like. Number two, the changeover and line check need to be flawlessly executed in just a couple of minutes and we also really need to finish exactly on time because the president is speaking right after our set and the speech will be broadcast on multiple TV and radio stations so we probably should not interrupt him. The fourth challenge is that we are playing a song that we never performed so far. It's a simple and famous Austrian song, but the time feel is actually a bit tricky because it's in 3-4 or 6-8, but it feels more like 4-4 or even like 9-8 sometimes. And the fifth and my personal biggest challenge, it's going to be very cold on stage. The forecast says below zero degrees Celsius, which is not great for both a guitarist's fingers and tuning stability of the instrument. But first things first, let's see if we all did our homework. So you can mostly just hear drums and percussion in the video because we are practicing with in-ear monitoring. What we are actually hearing right now and later on stage sounds something like this. So we play all songs to a click track to sound as tight as possible. Okay, so it's 11 p.m. right now. The rehearsal was pretty good. All of the equipment will be transported to the stadium right away. But I'm already at home for now because it's way past my bedtime. So I will see you again on Saturday when it's time for the big show. All right, my friends, today is the big day. I just put some fresh strings on this guitar that I'm bringing today. And I finished practicing the songs in the home studio one last time. I really recommend preparing a project in your workstation that features the most tricky parts of the set, in addition to just playing the full songs over and over again. So constantly repeating the guitar solos, the lead guitar sections, or new additions and details in the set really helps with building the confidence that you need for shows like this one. So I'm quickly gonna pack all of my stuff that's not yet in the stadium. And I think I will take the subway to the venue 45,000 people can cause quite a traffic jam. And I definitely don't want to be late for this show. The festival has started already and the stadium is slowly filling up. I'm having a huge flashback right now because I saw Metallica here in 2019. I never expected that I will play this stadium as well. So let's go backstage before I get nervous. So our backstage area is probably not what you expected. This event was put together in just two weeks and it's a miracle that it worked. And all we really need anyways is a small room to prepare for the show. And this group shower will actually come in very handy in a couple of hours. No, it's not what you're thinking. As always, I want to use the downtime for practicing. I have my little studio area with a laptop, USB interface and an amp plugin. Sometimes it's a bit hard to focus. <laughs> but being warmed up is a huge priority for me, so let's do this. We used the last hour before stage time to go through critical spots in the set together with a click track. And since we actually didn't get to practice with today's string section, we will do it in the shower moments before going on stage, I guess. Hello. 
content. Yeah. 30 minutes until stage time. I got my four layer outfit on, ready to go outside. Hello, you. Uh, I'm glad to meet Bernstein. He's going to the stage. No, it's not going to be awesome. So today's strategy is spending around half an hour outside before showtime to get used to the temperature. This will hopefully also acclimate the instruments for better tuning stability. It is honestly quite crazy to look at a crowd this size, but due to all the practicing and rehearsing, I'm feeling pretty confident today. So wish me luck, let's do this. challenging but really good. I got to play an acoustic guitar solo with completely frozen fingers. And a bit of melodic wah action that the guys were sadly talking over. The group shower string section definitely gave me goosebumps on this big stage. We also finished just in time for the president's speech. We setzen gemeinsam ein starkes Zeichen für den Frieden, für die Demokratie, ein Zeichen der Solidarität mit Menschen in Not die vor diesem furchtbaren Krieg fliehen müssen. Österreich wird diesen Menschen in der Not helfen. Europa wird helfen. Aber vergessen wir auch nicht jene mutigen Menschen, die in Russland gegen diesen Krieg protestieren. We stand with Ukraine. So overall it's a night I will never forget. Over 800,000 euro were generated by the ticket sales alone and the donations in total after the Austrian government doubled the original amount equal around 2 million. I really, really hope that this sum will make a difference for the people that are currently on the run from this war and that we could help out with playing some music. But now that I'm home again, I also want to help some more and I also want to involve you guys and girls that are watching this video. I'm donating 50 cents for every single new subscriber that comes from this video in the next Next two weeks. That way we can make a difference together as a guitar community and hopefully really help those in need. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to join our mission and help, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also share this message with your friends. Thank you so much for helping out and for watching this video. As you can probably hear, my voice is pretty broken and I really need some rest. But I will hopefully see you again very soon. You go on and have an amazing day. Bye bye.